jumping. You know, some people try to do some very fancy, sophisticated dressage moves, but it has nothing to do with what you need to do in the ring. At the end of the day, in the ring, the horse needs to go forward and backward, and needs to be straight. That's it. If you get those three things, you're going to be very successful. some of your flat work you need to try to take places where you and the horse relax and the only way the horse relaxes is if you relax if you're rigid and stiff and your hand is set it's very difficult to get the horse to take a breath override sit down touch your seat bones to the saddle let that cross rail just get in your way raise your hand not down and ride around and do that again Monitoring your rein length. Keep monitoring that there's not a big loop in that gag rein. Try to think about when you balance, to balance a little more up towards your belly button. Not so low. After you jump into your floor. but more that he's weak off the floor. The last stride, you did it at the first jump as well. The last stride, when you come through that turn, you have the horse in front of your leg. Get, you, know, you always land, regroup, and get the horse in front of your leg. As you make the approach, you've got to sit down and connect the seat. You've got to raise the hand up a little bit. That's putting the horse together. 
than here in the last step. If it's a hotter horse, it's just leg off the ground. And it's degrees of leg depending on the horse. It's not just one way, right? Uh, when I ride Azure uh, or, or, or Rothschild, it's, it's maybe a two or a three. Carlos is an eight, you know? So it's, so it's a different thing for different horses. This horse means leg off the ground, right? Because he, he wants to hold himself, and like you said, well over the thing. So here you have to be connected, and you have to make sure he's up in your hand the last drive. What he does is he backs out of the situation. You get leaning a little bit without that lower leg on the horse, and then he goes high. So the spook may be a small factor, but it's more that the horse gets slow and stally off the ground. Another thing to do with a horse like this is in the warm-up, over your first jump, just give him a little punch off the ground. And when you come to this bigger jump and you put your leg, he goes off of it. Because right now he doesn't do anything. He's just, right? Okay. So what I'd like you to do is come once right lean over this little rock oxer. Like everything the same, but just give him a little poke with the spur and he reacts. Stop, and then let's do that whole course again. Good ride. Good. 